definitely a lot of people here pass the buyers there they don't know what's going on all right they don't know so i'm gonna ask him what's going on what event this but it's world's indigenous day a day when we recognize the contribution of our amerindian brothers and sisters around the world globally the input they have put into place to sustain our forests or wildlife so today is set aside for them for them to be recognized as a people that is contributing tremendously to the sustainability of our forests and our wildlife among many other things So the celebration continues it's an entire day pack with events good morning happy indigenous day it's world's indigenous day which is celebrated by the indigenous people around the world it's a day when they reflect on their contributions towards the world all right and they have played an important role in conservation around the world all right and sustainability of our forest and wildlife and other things i'm here this morning by humaniano it's a meeting place for the amerindian people the indigenous people and they have a celebration here in observance of World's Indigenous Day. My friends from Pakuri are here, you know, to show would have been inviting me to come over here to share with you this prestigious culture of the Amerindian people. Good morning, good morning. I am a little bit late, but nonetheless, I'm here to celebrate with these beautiful beautiful lovely folks and this beautiful mm. culture wow you can see some beautiful Amerindian women girls you know, decked out in their outfit man so beautiful indeed it's another lovely day here it's Tuesday 9th of August 2022 and look I see one of the residents here from Pakuri man. What's going on my brother? Happy Indigenous Day yeah, man. You. Thank you brother, thank you. So let us enter. Let me show you what is going on here. Wow. Not a lot of people here as yet. Oh, at the back so alright, so let me show you. Hello. Let me show you at the back. Where my people are. One, two, two, two. Microphone. Uh huh. Over here they are. I can see them in the distance. So they're all. Hello. Good morning. Happy Indigenous Day. How are you guys doing? Good. And we have pretty ladies. They're all decked out in their um, traditional wear. Anybody bring any extra wear for me? No? And we have these two hunters here from um, Pakuri. What's up, my friend? Happy Good. Indigenous Day. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Tushaw, um, happy morning, Indigenous morning. Day. Here, you look fantastic. Yes. Welcome right. to the Humaniana. Thank you. That's it to show there from um, Pakuri village and um, Mr. Dian Andrews. And we have some more pretty ladies across here. How are y'all doing? Good. Hi. What's up, my friend? The man IG, Indigenous Guyana. <laughs> Make sure to check that brother out. He has a YouTube channel too, Indigenous Guyana. All right. Hey, the atmosphere here is awesome, man. It's so beautiful. These outfits. I wish I had mine. Man, I'm gonna have to get one from somebody, you know. Oh yeah, pastor man. Yeah, morning. I'm hoping that they brought an extra outfit for me. 
But nonetheless, um, hey, we are hoping for a awesome day, a, a cultural day, a day full of fun. All right, so stay with me and let's celebrate World's Indigenous Day. Now look at these boys just decked out in their traditional wear. You are going hunting now? Gonna catch deer or labo? Anything that, that, that walk or crawl? All right, brother, all right. Man, you know, I wish I had an outfit, man, to, to blend in, you know? Yeah. All I have is my, my hat, which was made by Mr. Shao's mom. Auntie Jais, thank you so much for this hat. It come in so convenient today. I blend in, you know? And I got this um, gift from uh, Rockstone. All right? Oh, you have some too. All right. Hey, I gotta get an outfit. W would you make an outfit for me? No. You can't make an outfit? <laughs> so who, who are making these outfits? Yeah. All right, good. So when I come back, Pakuri, I have to get an outfit, right? I'm tasking you to see for it for me, right? Good, a size large. So next heritage, I'll have an outfit. Now look, I run into a fun, fun here. A big, big fun here I run into. What, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa, pleased to meet you, man. Yeah, man. You want to say hello to anybody? To my husband, my mom, dad, and my kids. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. I'm pleased Thank to meet you, you alright? Yeah, Good. So I'm gonna get to show from Pakuri Village to give you guys a little detail of today's event and what's the significance of World's Indigenous Day. So today we are um, observing Indigenous uh, International um, Indigenous Peoples Day and we came out here with the idea to showcase our culture. Um, proud of our identity at the same time um, so it's just about um, recognizing this day uh, these days really come about for us and you know every opportunity that we get we, are, we, are, we just want the world to see that we are proud of our identity and we are yeah, showcasing our culture at the same time yeah. so um, today we, we brought out um, just about four to five persons from the village all dressed in the traditional wear traditional attire and we are here just to um, we, we are on a we are on a we are on a drive so to speak yes. where we um, we drive from St. Cuthbert's and was escorted from Sioux like to Georgetown and after this program here this this program is hosted by the Ministry of Ambrane Affairs and NTC uh, from here when the program is finished because we our team has one we they have one item they have one item to, to take part in here today after which we will head over to the Officer, officer of the president, he's, he's expecting us at 12 o'clock today and the Minister of uh, Marine Affairs is expecting us at 1 o'clock today. So from the president there, we'll go over to the Minister of Marine Affairs. From there, we will end our day at um, UN building. Um, that's just not too far from here. So it's a park day for us and we are indeed looking forward for this day to enjoy this day with, you know, with the citizens of this beautiful country and as well our dignitaries. Yeah. Um, adding to what you said, you're also showcasing the indigenous contributions globally. Right. 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 globally. That's, that's, that's very right. important. That is important. Yeah. Right. 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 Because you guys contribute yeah. to mm. our, our forests and yeah. our wildlife yeah. Yeah. and the conservation. Yeah, uh, yeah. and I think, that, um, I think that that's a good point. Because um, yes. a lot of people carry away, so some some people don't even recognize our contribution. Contribute to globally, only, globally, globally yeah. yeah, not to our country, not only to our country, but globally, globally we have been yes. contributing, we have been preserving, we have been protecting yes. the forest for for many, many, many hundreds of years, and yes. uh, you know, so so yeah, a lot you, of people, I mean, yeah, a lot of people, you, you know, sustain the yeah, the, the yeah, forest yeah, yeah, by yeah. wildlife and yeah. trees, you know, yeah, planting yeah, new yeah, trees. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, man. Um, yeah. I also am looking forward for a great day today. Uh, thank you for being here as well. So we're looking forward to joining us from here and, 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 and have a wonderful day. To celebrate. Yeah. So I'm happy also to be here to join with the show and members of the Pakuri village and the other dignitaries here to celebrate today. Happy International Indigenous Day to each and every one of you, especially my indigenous brothers and sisters. Now let me ask you this opportunity, Danny, to thank you as well for all your contribution you have been um, contributing not, in, not only to our community but other small indigenous settlements and communities. You're welcome to show. You know, yeah. you know, I've gained, I've gained 
Amerindian status, you know, by Pakuri and Rockstone so far. So I'm now I'm I'm 25 Amerindian. I have 75 more to go. I know you got it. And for for your mom, Miss Joyce, Andy Joyce, thank you once again for this lovely hat. And I proudly wear it today and display it. All right, it was a pleasure to show. Yeah. We're looking forward for a great day, man. All right, great. All right, so the celebration continue, and we're now warming up. We get some music there. Hey, everybody in the, in, in the mood, you know, I see this young lady shaking up just now, but she gets shy when the camera comes around. Course, yeah. And to my right here is Mr. Clyde London. And he's the man behind. Well, I'll let you introduce yourself and tell my viewers what you do. Go ahead, Mr. London. Okay, good day, everyone. Nice to be present here to give you a highlight as to what I really do. Yeah. I'm a mechanical engineer and agriculture engineer, and I fabricate machines to reach the small miners as well as the small farmers. For the farmers, I make like cassava press, cassava harvester, cassava grater, and many are uh, cassava peelers. These tools are already to enhance the production and reduce the manual labor of carrying out the same activity. And the results is far much higher than if it be doing it mainly by the manual application. And you can meet Mr. London here on 666. 9807 or 604 6876. That's WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. All right. It's a pleasure meeting you, man. All Thank right. You much. All right. We will talk more. Yes, no problem, brother. All right, so let me show you a little bit more of what's going on here right now. All right, so we have some um, dancing here, some, you know, that's the um, Matapi dance, I think, right? Uh huh. All right. So I see we have some dignitaries here um, you know, from the government and some folks from the United Nations. So we have, we have. For males, oh, I'm looking for a shirt or something. I want to blend in. Oh, where, where are you from? Richard Nine. Richard Nine. That's uh, up at the top That's um, left hand side, right? Oh, what village? Anai. What? Anai. Oh, I've been to Anai before. Yeah, the Rock View. It's Rock View in Anai, right? Yes. Yes, I stayed here. It's a beautiful here. I love Rock View. I love, I love the view of the mountains. Yes. I wish I had some, um, but nonetheless, um, Mr. Lynch. 
How much for this bag? 5,000. 5,000? I'll take this bag. I'll buy it for my wife. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. My name is Natasha Smith-Thomas and I'll be taking you through today's activity. Let's begin by all standing and repeating the National Pledge. I pledge myself to honor all of this God of Guyana and to be loyal to my country, to be obedient to the laws of Guyana, to love my fellow citizens, and to give my energy Prosperity. Prosperity. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father God, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity where we can be here, God, as a family. We thank you for life, we thank you for birth, we thank you for God for bringing us here from near and far, Father. We pray, God, that it will be said and done throughout this course of this program, and pray, God, that it bear fruit. I pray, God, that everything be said and done, Lord, that we see God results at the end of the day. We pray in all the name, but in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We're going to have a traditional dance. to be honored first on my list. Ms. Michelle Abraham Ali. She is the Deputy Chief Executive Officer responsible for training and development at the National Communications Network, Inc., 
where she has worked for over two decades. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together as we welcome Michelle Abraham. She is indeed a great individual. I can attest to that. I've known her a very long time. Let's like to her radio program and TV Pierce, program. Pauline Sukai to deliver the award. She even narrated on um, Guyana years to discover. A documentary of Guyana by Mike Charles. Beautiful indeed. Much deserved. So at this point, I would like to welcome the group from Bukuri to show us what they have. So, hey, you're going to wrap in for your village? Yeah, Make some nice little village, buddy. Ubi village.
and that is important for indigenous people to realize that we have to build a one Guyana alongside all of our counterparts in this country. Um, our heritage village is going to be made safe. Where is Yvonne? So that's a lot of award to you, accolades to you and your village. So this year, our heritage village, who will be hosting heritage uh, events, um, will be made say Guayaco on the Esquibo Coast in Region 2. So con congratulations, Yvonne, for ensuring that you um, will have everything ready for September. Hey, the celebration continues. Time for taste some of the indigenous food and wine wine. All right, all right. It's a better than this here, but... Hmm. Let me get a closer look of this um, list of activities. In for the month of um, September Heritage Month. So this is it right here. Unfortunately, I'm gonna miss some. Sorry, some of the activities. I'll be away for a couple of days. In September, I'll be in the U.S. But nonetheless, I'll be back for half On behalf of the Canada, I'd like to yes, bring sir. greetings to you and hope you enjoy the rest of this Indigenous Day. While you're hanging around Same. and meeting your friends, Horse we're going to be debating you for the next afternoon. So Cultural dances, you know, food please dip, enjoy. making of um, Amerindian crafts. Fishing, that's my favorite, fish bro. We go in there. Alright, hunting. Hey. Food. Couldn't get any better than this thing. Alright. Beautiful man. So we have a picturesque moment now. We have some entertainment. Uh -huh.
I'm a Indian and I'm Indian, he's Indian. So in the end of Amerindian, the word Indian is there. So you know, I'm part of Amerindian culture too. And you can get this canoe for 200 American dollars, which is 40,000 American dollars. Man, couldn't get any better than this. This is here. Morocco region number one, cassava kia, grip. Aha, uh -huh. how much it is? Check it, 3,500. All right, I need a bottle of this, please. This is original cassava kia, grip, made by our first people of Guyana, indigenous people of Guyana. Wow. The recipient of the um, award, Miss Gloria, she was awarded for her contribution towards the development of Aboriginal communities and the culture, you know, passing on the culture from herself to the younger generation, you know, and developing her own self, becoming independent and, con and continue to contribute to the development of the Aboriginal people, the indigenous people of Guyana. All right. So I, I bought this bag for my lovely wife, Miss Lynch. So, um, yes. I hope you like it. Alright, so, hey, the celebration continues. How life gets to that right? a big, big fan, hey man. What's your name? Natasha Smith Thomas. Pleased to meet you, darling. I see you and your husband always follow always the ARD show. Always looking at you, always following you on all of your trips. Thank you so much. What's your husband's name? Tiago Thomas. Mr. Thomas, big up to you, man. And thank you for following the ARD, alright? Yeah, and I hope your viewers continue to follow you and you get new viewers and everything. Thank you, thank you so much. It's a pleasure meeting thank you, my friend, alright? Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Alright, bye bye. Alright, so I am back with my crew here. My villagers, what's going on? Yeah, yeah! We are repping for Pakuri, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't get better, right? All right. Hey. And what is our next move to show? So we are heading over to um. Well, the president is expecting us at his place at his office. Yes. But the crew is too big, so he will, he will meet us at Artachong. Artachong Center. Yeah, yeah. So you're heading there now. Are we walking to Artachong or are we getting a ride? We're driving. We're driving. Yeah. Uh, now look, I run into a fan here from all the way from Orlando, Florida. Wow, pleased to meet you. What's your name? Sabita. Sabita, the pleasure. Cindy. Cindy, how are you doing, my friend? What Canada. What are you doing before, though? YouTube. Oh, shoot. You gotta follow Danny. Please check out my channel. It's our life ARD. All right, good to see you. Yes. Yes. Let's continue. All right, great. All right. So I'm gonna join this entourage here to head to um, the Art of Chung Center. There goes the entourage. We got stuck in traffic, so we got left behind from the entourage that went in first. But we finally made it. Unfortunately, we, well, I miss them rolling up here because we got stuck in traffic. So we are going inside of the this is the first president actually corporate republic of Guyana his excellency Arda Chong he's the first president and this building was an honor was built in honor of him and here comes the contingent our villagers from Pakuri The 
these folks are making their way upstairs. Oh, and that's the president there. His Excellency. Yeah, the Excellency, um, Dr. Ekanali. It's nice that, you know, the president of Guyana has grace. His presence here for the villagers, you know. Not every day you get to meet the president of your country. It was very nice of him. I've been in there already for business ventures. Back in the days, you know, we used to have business ventures here. Now I think they use it for parliamentary affairs. <coughs> I would say again that it is really pleasing as a leader to see that you know they are proud of who we are. Um, and we are here you know, to just spend a uh, memorable 10 minutes with you and also the minister. She we wanted to meet her as well, separate, but since she is here already, you will take the opportunity as well to say that we have admired the government work and the ministry work, all the people that we do it for. Doctors, that young people from your communities can show the rest of the Caribbean 
that you have the ability to top CXC. You have the ability to be the best you can be once we invest in making you and giving you the opportunity. So welcome. I'm grateful that you have decided to pay me this visit. And I want you to know that you are well loved. And this is your home as much as any guy. You are part of this one big gang of family. And we love you here. Thank you. Hey, the Kodak moment continues. We have some refreshment over here. Some, you know, some snacks. Hey, hey, what you like in there, man? Cake and buns? We got some buns and some, uh, some patties and some local cooked water. water. Lovely, lovely. One thing missing, you know, Paiwari, but today's day of Paiwari and Fly and Kasuri, right? Yeah. Alright. You got some in the back? Hey, what the bag? <laughs> this young lady said, oh, you have any bag? <laughs> uh, we can share it with us off camera, right? Look, that's a nice power juice there, bye. And you know, let me get these girls, the hard-working people. Hey, how you doing? Too short. Hi, hi. How are you doing? I'm Candice, too short from Region 8, Karasparo. Karasparo? Karasparo. Karasparo, Region 8. Pleased to meet you, most honored like to meet you. She joined with us today. Oh, lovely. Don't worry, to show and I, we're gonna come to your village for a visit. We love to come there and explore Region 8. Thank you. And please to meet you once again, alright? Great. Let me show you these hard working folks at the back here, man. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. And this is man responsible for tourism in Pakuri village, Mr. Andrews. Alright, so I'll get some juice. You get anything in the juice or just juice? <laughs> just cherry juice. Alright. <laughs> just checking. Alright. We're making our way into the dome. This is where they're tentatively having parliament due to COVID. They're gonna return to the main parliament building. Again, sometime girl. in the near future. This is so beautiful in here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we get an opportunity to be in the parliament. Well, we're there holding parliament temporarily. I've been here back in the days, you know, for business ventures. And now I'm here for this wow. special moment. It's cool and nice in here. This is where all of the big decisions we made. Yes. yes. Alright, so we had a brief tour of the parliament by the Honorable <laughs> Deputy that. Speaker of the House. Now we're moving around to see some more things, some more great things. Stay tuned for some more goodness. Right. We are also getting a ground tour of the center here. I ain't seen no lockdown. To show. I can borrow a rumbo and see a fish. Let me catch this look on here. The man, the man get away, right? They're supposed to have fish in here for we catch, buddy, but they ain't got nothing. What are they for? <laughs> they know we coming and take out the fish. <laughs> you got no fish. Y'all know we coming, y'all take it out. <laughs> All right, so we had a brief tour of the you too, man. How you doing, brother? Yeah. Pleased to meet you, man. What's yeah, your name? Man, I'm good. Calvin Roberts. Pleased to meet you, all right? Yeah. You want to show up anybody and thing? Let's watch the channel. Yes, really? You did an interview with me when we had oh, the Oh, yes, yes, the village day. I did, I did, yeah. I did. Yeah. Calvin yeah. Oh. Where are you located? Tell me if you was them. Yeah, well, I'm Calvin Roberts and I am the owner of Calvin's Indigenous Cuisine and we're located in Zealot on the East Bank of Esquibo. That's region number three. Phone number? Uh, my contact number is 602-5026 or you can follow us on Facebook at Calvin's Indigenous Cuisine. Lovely. I will definitely visit you sometime in the near future. <laughs> all right, bro. Please meet nice you, my brother. You, man. Same here, man. So, right. where are we going now? All right, so we continue in the... Um, 
the celebration. We all gathered and we were making our way to the Amerindian ministry. Now with me here, I have some friends. Oh, you met this man already? <laughs> yeah. All right. At the back here, we have two beautiful young ladies. Hi. What are you guys' name? Crystal. Crystal and Nadia. Nadia. All right. So you want to tell the world Happy Indigenous Day? Happy Indigenous Day. All right. And to the rest of the world, all right? Right. Happy Indigenous Day to everyone that's watching this video. Yes. Happy Indigenous Day to all my Indigenous brothers and sisters. Yes. So we're actually making our way to the Ministry of Amarillo Affairs. Yes. We're gonna continue to celebrate this wonderful day. Yes, definitely. All right. We are here at the Ministry of Amarindan Affairs. Yeah, me and my friends. And we are gonna join with the rest of the group to continue to celebrate this lovely day. So we are a little bit late and they're having a meeting up there. So we're gonna stand by, we don't need to interrupt. Alright, but in the meantime, let me show you what goes on outside. We're on Thomas Street, Thomas and um, Kwame Street. We have the Ministry of Marine Affairs and you can also get your craft. This is a craft shop, open Monday to Friday, 8 to 4 30 and Saturday, 8 30 to 12. Right where you can get all these um, lovely crafts here to buy. And oh, and cars reap, you can get your cars reap and thing. And I guess cassava bread and stuff. Cassava bread. It's all out, but you will you will normally have that. Great. So if you need, you can have the craft. The craft. But the main thing, all those who want the cars reap, cassava, the real authentic cassava cars reap, down here to get it. You don't have to worry where you're gonna get it no more. Right by the Amerindian ministry here, right by the shop here. Alright. Now look. Look the stack what they have. I bought three bottles for myself. Alright. I have some sculptures and you know other Amerindian um, crafts of hammock paintings. Man. And in case you want a boat, you have a, a canoe that you can buy it and paddle. All right. Yeah. So we continue to celebrate. All right. All right. So the meeting is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> these two young ladies, all the way from Northwest District, Maruka. And um, I guess we're heading somewhere else. You know, we continue in the uh, visit visitation, different places. And uh, I think the next is the United Nations. I'm not sure if they're still going there or we're running out of time. But um, hey, I'm looking forward to go along with the tour. <laughs> yeah. You enjoying your day so far, Miss? Yes, yes. Having a good, a good time. I am also enjoying my day. It's like, yes, it's awesome. It's, it's really nice. All right, so we continue the celebration. Here in Duke Street at the United Nations building here in Cayano. Oh. So this is might be this might be our final visit. The UN, United Nations Cayano, and we're paying a visit here. And they're the one that hosts this um, event today, right? Yeah. So, the United Nations, wow. So we're gonna spend some time here and um hey not sure what else is gonna be on the agenda for later on. We are here inside the UN compound. This place used to be back in the days we used to come here to fill out our Canadian forms to get Canadian visa. Wow, it's so nicely decked out here. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So we have some dignitaries here from the United Nations. Well, I'm gonna fit it on this one side. 
at my fellow Amerindian brothers and sisters. Yeah. Wow, beautiful as can be. Good afternoon.
Uh, Timothy gets a slightly different approach. Um, I have visited, along with some of my colleagues, Timothy, up at the um, St. Cuthbert's Mission in Kukuri Village. Uh, so we know the sheer range of um, issues that he listens to uh, from the community. Uh, this SDG badge covers all 17 of the goals. So we have responsibilities, not just the number five as I just handed out, but for all 17. Um, Timothy, thanks so much for joining us today. And I hope you will wear this badge. Time for food. Leon, how do you feel? Not clear. 
Fish bar. I hear you. It's not KFC. Fish bar. Fish bar. Fish bar. Oh, I love fish, so you go work for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got some snacks here. We got to dig in, all right? And this? Where you got it, boy? Having some mac, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I was. Any pie worry there or any fly? No, no, no? pie worry. Shoot. All right. Pie worry at Humaniano. Humaniano. All right, let me get him back there. We got him back there for it. <laughs> we are out of the UN building and now they are making their way to the Canadian Embassy. Yeah, my brother. You're going for the walk, man. And when you're walking, you're walking. walking I do, right now, right around the turn. Yeah. And when you're cooking, you're cooking. When you're walking, you're walking. Uh -huh. And I'm married, and life is not so easy. We're walking through famous Duke Street. I'm passing the American Embassy to my right. And. We have Roraima Inn. Those of you who want hotel in Guyana, you know, you can check these guys out. www.roraimainn.com You have even have Roraima Airways, the bus. RoraimaAirways.com They have tours to the interior. They have accommodation here. You know, you have a little bar, you can come and hang out, you can have a restaurant, you could, you know, get some meals. They have the Arrow Point Resort. They have charters, you know, Juke Lodge. So, we are making our way all the way to the Canadian Embassy. Ministry of Natural Resources. All right. We could walk more Here comes our group. <laughs> so we're having a picturesque moment here and these are mainly folks from Pakuri village we have from Moraikabai village you know, the honorable minister for Sakai and we have with the show from Bartika region there. I can't remember the name of the um, village. But it's so, so amazing. So they're visiting the Canadian embassy there right now. They're going through security. All right, so we're here. And look the man himself, Ronald. IG by IG. <laughs> so we're here in the Canadian Embassy and 
this might be our final stop for the day yes i think so and then we're gonna make our way back to pakuri right so we're right next to the pegasus hotel beautiful scenery and this is where we gather here for a little short meeting look at the beauty there man beautiful scenery very thoughtful. Our meeting is over and I guess the next step is Akuri village back to the mission. 
All right, hope you guys are enjoying today so far. It's events after events. Couldn't get any better than this. All right. Hey, the celebration continue. Let me show you all this view once again. Wow, you can just feel the breezes. Man, I just envy these folks that get to work down here in this building, man. To enjoy this beautiful atmosphere here, the wind. You can tell from the Canadian flag there, flying high. Wow, so beautiful. I love the atmosphere here, it's <laughs> awesome. I, I really envy those who work here yeah. to enjoy this breeze. <laughs> All right, so we're back outside. Man, we really and truly had an amazing, amazing day today. Look at all these lovely folks here from Bakuri. Not sure where we're heading next, but uh, I'm gonna find out at the show. So where are we going next to show? Are we? Is it the end of the program or? No, we are, now we are heading back to Mighty Pakuri. Mighty Pakuri. We have any celebrations there? Should I yeah, come? Yeah, yeah. We have we got the uh, pageant this weekend, so. That's attacking, about tonight. You're all going home now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What time yes. do you reach home? Like how long is that? Maybe if, if you left now, we we'll reach home. Two. Soon. Yeah, two hours. About two and a half hours there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is it. Um, I had in back to Pakuri, we got, got some paiwari, some fly and kasuri, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you bring You don't bring none? You don't bring none, man? You can't give them bites when they want me. All right, so hope you guys enjoy. These folks are heading back to Pakuri Mission and they're going to celebrate when they go back. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go back to Pakuri. It's a two and a half hour drive from Georgetown, one way. So it's five hours. So I already spent the entire day I'm exhausted I'm tired it's very hot so I want to thank you for the privilege of your time hope you enjoy the day with us stay safe and positive take care of you and those around you God bless you peace out and I will see you on the next adventure